Hello, within this tutorial I'm going to explain to you how to use Mesh Mixer to import a .obj file that you created using the 3dme app. First of all you need to double click on the creation workshop folder. Next double click on step 2. In this folder you can see that there are three further folders, one called Superhuman Bunny, Superhuman Lion and Superhuman Shark. There's also a Mesh Mixer Hotkeys PDF. If you double click on this, it will give you information on how to use the hotkeys within Mesh Mixer. This is pretty useful. Okay, maybe you want to minimize this for later. So, I'm going to select Superhuman Shark by double clicking on the folder. And next I'm going to double click on the Superhuman Shark Mesh Mixer Launcher. Now I'm going to maximise the page by clicking on Maximise. If you right click and hold down on your mouse and then move the mouse to the left, you can see that you can move the object to the left. If you then are still clicking it, and move to the right you can do the same and look down and look up by moving the mouse up and down. What I'd like to do now is to import the .obj file that we created using 3dme. So in the top left hand corner click on import then select append then select Documents, double click 3D Systems, 3D Systems Me, double click on that, and the same on Cases. And now you can see there's a list of scans. Your scan is going to be the last scan that was created, or it should be anyway. So open this folder and then select scan.obj and then click on Open. Do you want to scale it up? Yes. Let's move the objects browser and if we right click and hold and rotate or well move the mouse we can see that the head now is trying to be combined with the shark but I don't really want it in that location and I'd like to move it so I'm going to use the scroll wheel on the mouse to roll out and zoom out and now I'm going to select edit on the left hand side and then click on transform which allows you to move your object that's selected either up or down left or right or backwards or forwards so I'm going to click on the green arrow left click hold and then move up and that's going to move my head upwards Next I'm going to left click on the blue arrow and move it forward and that moves my head forward. Okay, so now I'm going to right click on the mouse and hold and rotate it round. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's a good position. So I'm just going to scroll, use a scroll wheel to zoom out. Just make sure I'm happy. Yep, so once you're happy with the transform that you've moved, click on accept. And now what I'd like to do is close the cracks on my face to create a solid, well, a good scan object file. Um, so I'm going to go to, well, yeah, it's keeping it on edits and select close cracks. You might want to click on this a few times until there are no blue specks showing on my head or your head. And then just rotate it round, make sure you can't see anything. Nope, that's fine. Okay, what I'd like to do now is to join the objects together. So at the moment, if I click on the shark, that's an object. I click on my head, that's a separate object. And you can see them both clearly in the objects browser by left clicking. So hold the shift key down and then click on the well I've clicked on the shark object now they're both selected 
And what I want to do is combine them. So up here in the left hand corner, click on combine. And now you can see in the objects browser, we've just got one object. Right. So what would I like to do next? I think I'd like to remove one of the fins on the shark. So I'm going to do this by clicking on select. And now if you left click the mouse and then draw, you can create a red line and go and draw it across the area that you'd like to select. Oh, that's not right. Clear selection. Let's try it again. So click on select, left click, hold, draw it across. That's better. So now I've got the fin on the left highlighted and what I'd like to do is to erase and fill it. So what you do is you go to edit and then click on erase and fill. And I'm just going to right click and hold to move it around. Yep, that's fine. So now I'm going to click accept. And now I'm going to clear the selection. Next, what I'd like to do is to add an arm to where I've removed the fin. So if you move up to the top left hand corner, you can see that it, there's a symbol that says mesh mix. So left click on this and then go to primitives, slide it along and I'm going to select, well, left click on arms. And yep, yeah, I would like a muscle man arm for the shark. So I'm going to left click on it and hold it down and drag it across. And once it's over the objects I'm going to release and then that should attach the object to the shark body or the arm to the shark body. So I'm not going to accept yet, I'm, I'm going to move it round and from this viewpoint you can see that there, there are three different things you can do. So here is a central positioner so if you just left click on it and you can move it around then there's a wheel here that you can rotate so you can rotate the arm rounds so maybe there and this little tab here increases the size uh, let's try that so now i'm going to right click and turn it around yep i'm happy with that and now i'm going to left click on accept here okay so i've got a new arm that looks good I'm just going to zoom out and maybe put something on my head. Yeah, why not? So let's go to Mesh Mix again. And I'm going to select or left click ears. And I'm going to put an ear on my head. It's a little bit like a shark fin. So left clicking, dragging and dropping on my head, like so. Hmm, quite like that actually. That's worked out all right. Maybe just slightly there and maybe just slightly bigger. Yeah. Maybe that's a little bit top heavy. So um, I'm right clicking and moving the objects and I'm going to left click on that central bit and put it there. Yeah, that'll do. And then I'm going to click on accept. Right. Yep, that's fine. So what I'd like to do now is to smooth the object and to remove, to, well, to basically remove the bumps. So to do this, you need to click on edit and no, you don't forget that. You click on sculpt, go to brushes and I'm going to do left click on robust smooth. Now that's too big a surface area. So I'm going to change the size like so and then you just left click and hold down and that smooths the area so i'm going to get rid of that little bump there too on the neck i don't really think that's necessary and i'm going to right click and rotate rounds to smooth around these joints on the neck there let's rotate it round smooth it there yeah that's good Maybe a bit on the back of the head. So really you want to make sure that you smooth off the areas where you've made the joins because if we 3D print this object, 
then that you might get flaws. So it's important to smooth it off and make it nice. Um, let's try in there a little bit. I'll reduce my ears a little bit, maybe. Yep. And maybe I'll just smooth that a bit so it's a bit more like a sort of thin fist type thing. Yeah. Okay. So I might select a different brush now. I'm going to select inflate. I'm just going to inflate it a little bit there. And there, and there, and on the back of my head, just there. Yeah, just a little bit more. So just left clicking, just little tiny clicks. Okay. And now I might just smooth that off once more. So select brushes again, robust smooth. Mm, I'm not sure if it looks like a shark anymore. Kind of a bit like a parrot with a fin, but never mind. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Um, okay. Right, so that object to me is almost finished. Let's just remove that bit there. Yeah, okay, that's good. Right, so I'm happy with this object. Well, I'm nearly happy, happy now. And what I'd like to do is get it ready for printing. So, to do this, I need to go to Edit, so left click edit and left click make solid. Okay, so what that's done is created a few imperfections which I'd like to remove, but first of all, I need to click on accept and then I need to go to sculpt again, select brushes and robust smooth, and I'm just going to smooth these bits out. A bit on the ears too. Makes it a bit more like a gill, maybe. Yeah, the ears more like a fin on top now. Just do those creases there. And creases might cause problems when printing. Yeah, okay. Oh, maybe just a bit there. Maybe a bit in the eyes too. Okay, I'm happy with that. So now what I'm going to do is analyze the object. Left click on analysis and then left click on inspector. And I'm going to auto repair. So left click on that, just do it two or three times. Doesn't look like there's a problem. That's all good. Right, next I'm going to click on export. And I'm going to go to desktop by left clicking on that. And then going into the students mesh mixer files folder. And I'm going to create a name for my mesh mixer, so it's uh, my name, and I'm going to put my school. Oh, let's see, my school or organisations name and save. Okay, let's minimise the window, and that's the end of the tutorial.